If you can't cornrow, first make a part that you would normally make for a basic cornrow. Split the part into boxes like I am doing right now. Make sure you separate the boxes up and down in different directions. Like this. Okay. Then you're going to start by braiding the first box normally as you would braid a basic individual braid. When you are done doing the first basic individual braid, you will attach that braid into your next individual braid by making the braid in the front as the third leg. And you're just going to braid it all together. Once you're done with the second box, you move on to the next box, okay, and you braid it all together again. So you're basically doing individual box braids in a conroll fashion. This is a simple way to keep your hair flat for your favorite hairstyles if you don't know how to do conroll in a continuous way. So by separating and doing it box by box, you are able to achieve a conroll look. You can apply this braided technique for crochet hairstyles as well, which is what I did here. I braided her, the front of her hair in the same fashion just to make the passion twist that we're going to be doing today to look like individuals. So this is my model's hair and she has really really long beautiful thick hair. So we're going to be using short passion twist hair from Belief Hair on Amazon and this is my second time of using their short passion twist hair. The reason is because their hair is so soft. It's one of the softest passion twist hair that I have worked with. So in a bag there is 8 packs of the hair and I have color 1B in 10 inches. Another thing I like about Belief Short Passion Twist is the beautiful soft curls that is on the ends of the Passion Twist hair. And when I tell you this hair is soft, this hair is soft. Like when you get the hair, you're going to understand what I mean. It's so soft and the curls are so soft and beautiful. So this was when I installed the Belief Passion Twist on my sister-in-law the first time I used Belief Passion Twist. And we're going to be using Belief Passion Twist today. So I'm going to leave the link to their hair in the description box if you want to get the short Passion Twist from Belief Hair. So the braided technique I showed you in the beginning of this video, for those of you who don't know how to conroll, um, I'm not going to do the entire of my model's hair in that fashion. Her hair is very thick and very long and that um, braid pattern takes a long time because you're always going to be like splitting the hair into boxes and that takes time. So because of time today, I'm going to do the front in that fashion. And then I'm going to do the back in regular conroll because I already know how to conroll um, and just to save time. So what I'm doing right now is you see I split the hair in the front and I'm just going to start doing the um, individual box braids and just like attaching it to the next box behind it. So yeah.
so now I am just doing regular cornrows okay if you really want to know how to cornrow I have a class video on how to cornrow I will leave it in the description box um, for those of you who don't know how to cornrow and that should be helpful So I'm basically done con rolling her hair and tucking the ends in and stitching the ends in and also applied some scalp oil. So now we're going to crochet in the short passion twist hair so just keep on watching. So we're basically more than halfway done. As you can see, most of the spaces are covered. And this hair is absolutely gorgeous. And this hair is Belief Short Passion Twist. I will leave the link in the description box. I'm going to show you how to cover the spaces when you are crocheting. Um, yeah, this space as you can see right. So to cover it, you're going to pass a crochet needle through one con row into the next con row. And you're just going to pass the ends of the um, passion twist here through both of the corners. So for the front, I am going to crochet the same kind of way that I crochet my Illusion um, Passion Twist, but this time instead of passing the braid through the loop, I pass the Passion Twist here through the loop like this. I'm going to show you again. So I honestly got bored of doing the illusions and I just wanted to do the regular knot but I decided to take the risk to do the regular knot using this passion twist here because it is soft. Don't do the regular knots if you're using a um, passion twist here or any type of crochet here that is very bulky because then the knot is going to be so obvious but as you could tell with this one the knot is not really that obvious because the hair is soft and that's one thing I like about it.
and this is the finished result it's so beautiful as always this hair never disappoints my second time using it is the same quality is absolutely gorgeous and soft and I love 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 the curls that it has on the ends as well so yeah thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up and check out believe hair I will leave their information in the description box if you want to get this hair and thank you for watching I'll see you next time